Est-ce qu'un natif anglophone ou un Américain a déjà utilisé une expression et vous avez eu l'impression de comprendre tous les mots qu'il a utilisés, mais pas l'expression oh. <rire> Eh bien, c'est tout simplement parce que cette personne a utilisé ce qu'on appelle un « idiom » en français, expression idiomatique. Eh bien, les expressions idiomatiques, ce sont des groupes de mots qui ne se traduisent pas pas littéralement et c'est ce qu'on va voir aujourd'hui à travers cinq expressions idiomatiques qui portent sur la météo weather idioms hello everybody it's code joe your english coach idioms are extremely important because when you don't understand them it makes you look like an idiot i'm not an idiot And so today we are going to talk about five idioms that have to do with the weather, weather idioms. So without further ado, let's get started. The first one, here is the sentence and you are going to figure out what the idiom is. And the first hint is it has to do with the weather. After catching a cold, Jenny felt dot 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 and decided to stay in bed all day. Hmm. What do we put here that has to do with the weather? <laughs> Matter of fact, this idiom has the word weather in it. So what can it be? Alors, je vous donne 5 secondes très rapidement pour écrire dans les commentaires ce que vous pensez que cette expression est. Et je vous ai donné un indice. Il y a le mot weather dedans. 5, 4, 3, 2, One, go! All right, after catching a cold, d'abord, to catch a cold, c'est avoir un petit rhume, ok? Ou bien un rhume. To catch a cold, Jenny felt, da da da, and decided to stay in bed all day. Vous comprenez ça, rester au lit toute la journée. Felt under, qui a trouvé? The weather. Ça, ça se prononce weather, weather. Felt under the weather, ok? Donc ici, c'est l'expression idiomatique, c'est under the weather et ça s'utilise souvent avec le verbe to feel to feel ou bien to be under the weather ok to be under the weather et, or to feel under the weather is to feel ill or sick you're not feeling good you're under the weather mais ce n'est pas quelque chose de très grave c'est à dire que ce n'est pas quelque chose où vous allez vous dire oh vraiment je je je, je dois aller à l'hôpital tout de suite tout de suite c'est pas chronique vous comprenez all right so to feel under the weather all right so the next one is not as easy okay is not as easy as you may think all right so here is an example i didn't mean to dot 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 the expression is right here by pointing out the potential issues with your plan i didn't mean to dot 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 by pointing out the potential issues with your plan so what do we put here here we're talking about la pluie donc, il y a la pluie dans cette expression. All right, so what do we put here with la pluie in the expression? And if you don't know how to say la pluie in English, well, you are not going to be able to guess this one. So, for this one, I'm going to give you seven seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so... I didn't mean to, dot, dot, dot. Hmm, this one is not easy at all, but you need to learn it. Because again, as I said, if you don't understand idioms, you're going to feel like an idiot. So next time somebody uses this expression, understand exactly what they're saying. I didn't mean to rain on your parade. What? <laughs> I didn't mean to rain on your parade. What does that even mean? So here, to rain on someone's parade. To rain on someone's parade is to spoil something for someone. Okay, when you rain on someone's parade, that means that they were doing something and everybody liked it, but then you came and you say, well, but this is not supposed to be that way. And then now everybody's like, oh, maybe it shouldn't be that way, right? So the person now goes from being really, really happy to now being like, 
almost angry at you for doing that, okay? So that's why I said, I didn't mean to, j'avais pas l'intention de. This is a great expression also, to mean to do something or not to mean to do something. Okay, learn this expression also, write it down somewhere. To point out, montrer quelque chose du doigt, to point out, okay, by pointing out, c'est pas pointing, c'est pointing, ok? By pointing out the potential issues, les problèmes que votre plan a. J'avais pas l'intention de, de faire cela, ok? To rain on your parade. Parade, parade, c'est pas parade, ok? Parade, all right? Make sense? Ok, the third one is easy, but if you've never heard it before, you will never be able to guess it. But don't worry, I will give you a hint right now. Let me read the sentence first. But before I read the sentence, I know that some of you guys are having trouble with all these things. And you're probably wondering why you've been watching all my videos, but your English has not been changing. Je sais qu'il y a certains parmi vous, beaucoup, parmi vous vous demandez, mais coach, je regarde vos vidéos, mais mon anglais n'évolue pas. Ne vous inquiétez pas, nous avons un programme d'immersion anglaise sur mesure pour les francophones comme vous. Nous avons aidé des milliers de francophones dans plus de 50 pays du monde. Donc, si vous êtes intéressé à savoir plus sur notre programme d'immersion anglaise et comment on peut vous aider également, eh bien, cliquez sur le lien qu'il y a dans les commentaires, remplissez cela et moi-même, je vais vous contacter pour vous en dire plus. All right, everybody, don't worry, be happy. Number three, when we planned our picnic, ah oui, ce mot existe bel et bien en anglais également. When we planned our picnic, we didn't expect it to, that, 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 forcing us to cancel it. Well, what can happen for you to cancel a picnic? Well, you know a picnic is an outdoor event. Ça se passe dehors, n'est-ce pas? Outdoor, outdoor. Quelque chose qui est outdoor, outdoor se passe dehors. Outdoor event, right? It's an outdoor event. So, a picnic being an outdoor event, what weather idiom can we use here? Hmm, let me give you a hint. Il y a la pluie dedans, il y a les chats dedans, il y a les chiens dedans. <laughs> so what can it be? What? All right, so this one again, if you, you've never heard it, you will not be able to guess it. So, but let me still give you guys five seconds because you never know, there might be somebody watching who knows. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. When we planned our picnic, we didn't expect it to rain cats and dogs. What? This doesn't even make any sense. And generally, that's how you feel when somebody uses an idiom. You're like, it doesn't make sense. They don't make sense, but we use them all the time. Americans love idioms. So it is very, very important for you to learn, memorize them, so that next time somebody uses them, you know, and you say, got you, okay? <laughs> so here, to rain cats and dogs. To rain cats and dogs means to rain really, really hard. Okay, literally you see cats and dogs falling from the sky, okay? That's what it means, to rain cats and dogs. All right, so the next one, Martha has been putting a part of her paycheck into a savings account to, okay, so let me give you a hint. This idiom has the verb save in it, right? Like I literally said savings account to, da 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 for to da da for something <laughs> okay so what is the expression here this is to save for a rainy day to save for a rainy day a rainy day is a day when it rains okay so she's saving for a rainy day this means that she's saving for troubled times when you know things get tough. She can use that money from her savings account to be able to pay for a medical bill or when the economic environment is not as thriving as it is right now, is not as positive as it is right now, she can go and get that money. Or maybe she, God forbid, she loses her job, she can go into her savings account. That's what we call to save for a rainy day, okay? Save 
for a rainy day, okay? Make sure to memorize these expressions, but I always say don't memorize straight away. What you need to do is to repeat because repetition fosters retention. Repetition is the mother of retention. Repetition gives birth to retention. And so start using these in sentences and you will see that you will remember them. Okay, it will become natural for you. The last one, at the start of the team building event, the coordinator told a funny story to dot, dot, dot. <laughs> All right, so here, the expression that we will use right here, ça a le glaçon de dents. Mm -hmm. Glaçon de dents. <clears throat> Est-ce que ça suffit comme indice ou je dois dire tout Est-ce que je dois dire tout ou quoi Non, il y a glaçon dedans, c'est tout ce que je vais vous dire. Parce que si je dis le verbe, tout le monde va trouver cela. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, boom All right, so first of all, you understand the sentence, right? There is a team building event going on and the coordinator, meaning the person who organized the event, at the beginning of the event, because people were very shy, People, nobody wanted to say anything. Well, he wanted to make sure that people more, much more relaxed about the meeting and that they were not shy, they were not timid. So he told a funny joke or a funny story to do what? To, <clears throat> because the room felt too cold, right? Too something, glacé, too icy, all right? So he told a story to break, to break what? The ice, to break the ice, vous voyez Donc en fait, les expressions idiomatiques, vous pouvez deviner un tout petit peu ce que ça veut dire. La pièce est tellement glacée qu'on peut littéralement casser le glaçon, ok Donc, il a cassé le glaçon avec une histoire comique. All right, so here, to break the ice. Ça c'est ice, ok Ice. So to break the ice is to initiate a social conversation or interaction. Sometimes when you are at a company event and you don't know people, you, you can come to a group or you can come up to somebody and you initiate a conversation to start an interaction with that person. That means you broke the ice. Ça c'est un verbe irrégulier. So to uh, break, broke, broken. All right, everybody, five weather idioms under the weather, rain on someone's parade, to rain cats and dogs, say, to save for a rainy day, and to break the ice. Start using all these expressions. And by the way, n'oubliez pas de cliquer ici pour commencer à savoir comment penser en anglais. It's Coach Joe, your English coach. Take care, guys.